Kylian Mbappe Laden was born on December 20, 1998 in the 19th arrondissement of Paris and was raised in Vendy, Seine-Saint-Denis, in the northeastern suburbs of Paris. His father, Wolfred, is originally from Cameroon, and, as well as being his agent, is a football coach. His mother, Faiza Lamari, is of Algerian Kabyle origin and is a former handball player. He has a younger brother, Ethan, who plays in the Paris Saint-Germain Academy. Their older adoptive brother, Jairus Kimbo Ikoko, is a former professional footballer. As a child, Mbop went to a private Catholic school in Bindi, where he was considered academically gifted but unruly. At 15, he began taking Spanish lessons, and eventually became fluent in the language. Among Mbop's idols growing up were Zinedine Zidane, Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Ronaldinho, Lionel Messi, Ronaldo Nazario, Eden Hazard and Thierry Henry. As a child, Mbop received Robin Yu's AC Milan shirt as a gift from his nanny's family, who were supporters of the Italian club. However, as a child, Mbop aspired to play for Real Madrid. Mbop began his career at his Vendee, being coached by his father, Wilfred. Another of his youth coaches at his Vendee, Antonio Riccardi, stated. The first time I coached him was when he was six years old. You could tell he was different. Kylian could do much more than the other children. His dribbling was already fantastic and he was much faster than the others. He was the best player I've ever seen in 15 years coaching here. In Paris, there are many talents but I'd never seen a talent like him. He was what we call a crack, the best. Eventually, Mbop moved to the Clairefontaine Academy, putting in a host of impressive performances leading to numerous French clubs, and Real Madrid, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, and Bayern Munich, attempting to sign him. At the age of 11, Real Madrid invited him to train with their under-12s and visit the club's facilities. At age 14, he traveled to London after an invite from Chelsea, playing a match for their youth team against Charlton Athletic. Monaco In July 2013, at the age of 14, Mbop joined the Youth Academy of Monaco, signing a three-year contract. The club had beat competition from Real Madrid and Zinedine Zidane, who was very involved in efforts to sign him. In October 2015, Mbop was brought in by Leonardo Jardim to be a mainstay in Monaco's reserve team, but his level of skill and maturity prompted his promotion to the main squad after just three weeks. He made his first team debut two months later, on December 2, 2015, in a 1-1 one -one League One home draw against Caen, replacing Fabio Coentrao after 88 minutes. Mbop therefore became Monaco's youngest ever first team player, aged 16 years and 347 days breaking the previous record set by Thierry Henry in 1994. On February 20, 2016, Mbop scored his first goal for the club's first team, a stoppage time goal in a 3-1 league win over Tra at the Save Louis II. At the age of 17 years and 62 days, he became the youngest first team goal scorer in Monaco's history, once again displacing Henry in the process. On March 6, 2016, Mbop signed his first professional contract, a three-year deal, tying him to Monaco until June 2019. In an interview with CNN, Vadim Vasilya, as Monaco's vice president, stated that he knew early on that Mbop was a phenomenon. I Mbop scored the first hat-trick of his first team career on December 14, 2016, in a 7-0 home win over Rennes in the Coupe de la Ligue round of 16, the first hat-trick scored by any Monaco player in the competition since Sonny Anderson in 1997. On February 11, 2017, Mbop scored the first League One hat-trick of his career in a 5-0 home win over Metz. At 18 years and 2 months, he became the youngest player to score a league hat-trick since Jeremy Menez did so for Sosho back in 2005. On 21 February, Mbop scored Monaco's second goal in the 40th minute of a 5-3 loss away to Manchester City in the UEFA Champions League round of 16. It was his first European competition goal and he became the second youngest French scorer in Champions League history, behind only Karim Benzema. On 5 March, Mbop scored two first half goals in a 4-0 home win over Nantes to bring his League One career tally to 10 goals, 
becoming the youngest player in the previous 30 years to reach the 10 goal mark in the league. On 11th of March, he scored a goal in a 2-1 home win over Bordeaux, registering his 7th goal in his previous 4 league starts. On March 15, 2017, Mbappe scored Monaco's opening goal in the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 tie with Manchester City. Monaco went on to win 3-1, and with the aggregate score being tied 6-6, advanced to the quarterfinals thanks to the away goals rule. In the quarterfinals against Borussia Dortmund, Mbappe won a penalty and scored two goals as Monaco won the first leg 3-2 at the Westphalen Stadium. In the second leg at home, he opened the scoring as Monaco won 3-1 and advanced to the semi-finals. They were eventually eliminated from the Champions League following a 4-1 loss on aggregate to Juventus, with Mbappe scoring his team's lone goal in the second leg. Mbappe ended the 2016-17 season with 26 goals from 44 matches in all competitions as Monaco won the League 1 title. He credited fellow Monaco striker Radamel Falcao as a key influence on him throughout the season, giving him the space to express himself and teaching him to be calm and serene during the game. On August 31, 2017, Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, announced the signing of Mbappe from Monaco on loan with a mandatory purchase option of 180 million euros. According to PSG's assistant sporting director Luis Ferrer, the shift in Mbappe's decision to join the club was partly thanks to a convincing speech given by manager Una Emery at Mbappe's home over the summer. The 180 million euro fee made Mbappe the most expensive teenager ever and the second most expensive player ever, behind teammate Neymar and broke the record for the largest transfer within a domestic league. He was handed the number 29 shirt upon arrival in the French capital. On September 8, 2017, Mbappe made his PSG debut in a 5-1 League 1 win away at Metz, scoring a goal. Four days later, he recorded his first European goal for the club in a 5-0 UEFA Champions League group stage away defeat of Celtic. He starred in PSG's 3-0 victory over Bayern Munich in the second group game of the Champions League, setting up goals for Edinson Cabani and Neymar, the latter seeing him taking out a defender with a feint by rolling the ball under his foot. On 6 December, Mbappe scored his 10th career Champions League goal in a 3-1 defeat to Bayern Munich, becoming the youngest player to reach that mark, at the age of 18 years and 11 months. Having already won his first league title with the club, on May 8, 2018, Mbappe featured in PSG's 2-0 and overlay her beers in the Coupe de France final. Mbappe was given the number 7 jersey for the upcoming season with PSG taking up the squad number left vacant by Lucas Moura. Sporting the hashtag hashtag K7 Leon, Mbappe stated, I keep trying to progress on the pitch, Bad. for me, it was the right time to change number. It is something of an affirmation. The number 7 shirt is a legendary one and many greats have worn it. I hope that I will be able to do this number justice on the pitch. In his first appearance of the season, Mbappe scored twice in the last 10 minutes as PSG won 3-1 against Ganga in League 1. In the following league game, the front three of Mbappe, Cabani and Neymar all scored in a 3-1 win over Angers at home, with Mbappe, starting his first game of the season, scoring from a volley and setting up Neymar to score the third. On 1st of September, he scored and assisted in a 4-2 away win over Nîmes but was sent off for the first time in his career with a straight red card in retaliation for a late challenge from behind, for which Savanier was also sent off. Regarding his sending off, Mbop told reporters after the match, if I had the chance to do it over again, I would do the same thing. I will apologize to the supporters and everybody, but I cannot tolerate this sort of thing. On 8th of October, Mbappe scored 4 goals in just 13 minutes in a 5-0 home victory over Lyon and became the youngest player, at 19 years and 9 months, to score 4 football to the best under-21 player in the world. On January 19, 2019, Mbappe was one of two players, the other being Cabani, to score a hat-trick in a 9-0 win over Ganga, 
breaking a record PSG had set the previous season. On 12th of February, he scored a goal in a 2-0 wins league round of 16. On 2nd of March, he scored twice in a 2-1 away win over Khan to reach his 50th goal with the club. On 6th of March, PSG lost 3-1 at home against Manchester United and was subsequently knocked out from the Champions League on the away goals rule. On 21st of April, he scored a hat-trick in a 3-1 win against Monaco, netting his first goals against his former club. PSG finished the season as League 1 champions, with Mbappe winning the Player of the Year award, while also finishing the season as the top goalscorer.